On Sundays, I go to Grandpa's house. He picks me up, swings me around, and together we fall into his big comfy chair. We talk about all sorts of things. One day I asked him, Grandpa, where is God? That's a good question, Grandpa said. Why don't you look for him this week? Then next Sunday, you can tell me where he is. I wasn't sure where to look, but I told Grandpa I would try. He gave me a big hug and said, keep your eyes open. I'm sure you'll find God all over the place. On Monday, my class went to the zoo. We saw elephants, giraffes, monkeys, and my favorite, a lion. My teacher says that God made all the animals. That's where God is, I thought. He's at the zoo with the animals he's made. On Tuesday, we went out for ice cream. Before I'd even tasted mine, one scoop fell off my cone and smashed onto the floor. No problem, said my sister Penny. You can have some of mine. That's where God is, I thought. He's with us when we share. On Wednesday, there was a big storm. My big brother Wyatt and I stood at the window and watched. Zap! Lightning flashed across the sky. Bang! A giant crash of thunder made me jump. My brother laughed and said, God sure knows how to put on a good show. That's where God is, I thought. He's in the rain and the sunshine and the nature all around us. I was starting to notice something. Everywhere I looked, God was at work. Grandpa was right. God is all over the place. On Thursday, I accidentally broke my mom's favorite vase. I was afraid to tell her. When she asked if I did it, I almost said no. Then I remembered that God doesn't want us to lie, so I told the truth. Mom hugged me and smiled. I forgive you, she said. That's where God is, I thought. He's with us when we tell the truth and when we forgive. On Friday, I went to my friend Simon's house. We played games, watched a movie, and ate pepperoni pizza. Before we ate, Simon's dad prayed and thanked God for all the fun we were having. That's where God is, I thought. He's with us when we play with our friends. On Saturday, my friends and I were running on the playground. Gavin fell down and scraped his knee. When Abby saw, she picked Gavin up and brushed him off. That's where God is, I thought. He's with us when we help each other. On Sunday, I went back to Grandpa's house. He picked me up, swung me around, and together we fell into his big comfy chair. So, did you find God, he asked. I told Grandpa about all the places I had found God. At the zoo, at the ice cream shop, in the storm, at home, at Simon's house, and on the playground. Everywhere I go, God is already there, I said. Grandpa laughed. That's true. And there's one more place you can find him. There is, I asked. Where else could God be? God can also be in your heart, Grandpa said with a smile. In my heart, I asked. How can God be in my heart? You see, said Grandpa, God wants us to be just like his son, Jesus. We can't do it on our own, but we can ask God's Spirit to come into our hearts and help us. When we do that, we know that God is with us wherever we go. That's what I want, I said. I want God to be in my heart. I want him to be with me wherever I go. Then you should tell him that, Grandpa said. I would love to tell him, Grandpa, but how, I asked. When we pray, we're talking to God, Grandpa told me. You can pray to God anytime you want, as much as you want to. He will always be listening. Can I pray right now, Grandpa, I wondered. You sure can, Grandpa answered. Just close your eyes, bow your head, and talk to God just like you're talking to me. So I closed my eyes, bowed my head, and started to pray. Dear God, I'm glad that you're all around me. I want you to be with me wherever I go. Come into my heart and help me to be more like Jesus. Amen, said Grandpa. We got up out of the chair and Grandpa swung me around and around. Then he pulled me close, gave me a great big hug, and told me that he loved me. Now I know that it doesn't matter if I'm at home or school, a friend's house or the zoo, or even if I'm all alone somewhere. Because wherever I am, that's where God is.